Hi folks, it's Sofer here on Inside the Box. I want to show you a couple of mechanics combined that make a very interesting puzzle. I've used this in one of my boxes recently and it contains the placeable TNT and a button that will make the TNT explode but only if all the TNT blocks are in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and make a button for the player to push and with that button, the player will be able to ignite three pieces of TNT, but only if all three pieces are in place. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to take this TNT, and this is placeable TNT, so what we'll do is we won't right shift right click it, because that will place the node. What we actually want to do is we want to just right click it. And when we do right click it, it will leave a placeholder. I might not get one over here. Sometimes I might have to erase it and put it back. Okay, now we got placeholders here. So the player will be able to place a TNT here. Now somewhere else we're going to hide three pieces of TNT. When the player finds them, they can place them over here. And now we're going to use node detectors to make sure that we can only trigger the button when all three are in place. So what are we going to do? We're going to hide them somewhere behind a couple of rocks. Now rotate them so that they are pointing towards this place over here. And now we're going to do some counting. Zero is adjacent. One, two. So this, this placeholder here is at distance number two. So we're going to tune these to value two. Okay, now, this button is not hooked up, but what we want to do is we want to make sure that the TD doesn't explode until all three are in place and the button is pushed. For that, we need an adder. In this case, we're going to hook up everything to the adder with the connector tool. So we'll take this one, connect it to the adder. This one. Okay, now we need to hook the button up to the adder too, because the button will be the last signal. Okay, now you can guess what value we need to set the adder to. By default, the adder, the adder I think starts out with two, which makes sense because adding to one is nothing but more, but uh, just propagating the signal that's input. So the default is two, so we're gonna set it to three, no, four. Okay, now players are going to come, take up the three TNT nodes, and place them. Click. Can we push it yet? Oh, wait, we haven't connected anything yet, but let's connect the adder to the TNT. Let's put one over here. Connect this one over here too. Now we have two TNT, but nothing happens. One TNT, nothing happens. No TNT, nothing happens. One, two, three. Now the count is three, and if I push the button it will be four, and the TNT should explode. All right, really simple. Now that wasn't as impressive as it used to be because in the level that I used, I used a bunch of delayers to slowly blow up this thread. Obviously what I've done is I've connected the adder to a bunch of delayers that first take out all of these sections of wire separately one by one and then blow up the TNT all together. I'll leave that as an exercise to you guys so you can go and play around and go uh, make your own uh, puzzle boxes that uh, Perhaps do much more interesting than just blow up some TNT and perhaps maybe um, something like a doorway as well while you're at it, right? Alright, that's it. That's how you make TNT blow up only when there are enough placed using an adder. Thanks for watching. Have fun.